Right, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips and a real important one because this is the first time we've ever done a part two to a tips episode and this is from the world's number one golf coach, Pete Cowan. And Pete Cowan gave a lesson to Danny Maud and it's his video that I'm making my interpretation of in today's testing the tips we did part one just a few days ago and hopefully there's a link up below just make sure you go and check that out because it's key that you get that element right first it was so so good in transforming my ability to strike irons in particular so much better and it was a method where we swapped our hands and you can see now for some overlays how we tried left hand low to find ourselves a position in the backswing which also gave us a feel through the impact impact position on where we should be but we stopped there with that uh, sort of drill to go away practice the first phase of it and now we are back for part two and it's how we drive through that impact position how we've got a couple of drills to get you into a real good position where you're feeling real compression on the ball through impact it's very very simple and very very effective and make sure you stay tuned until the very end right so what is part two all about well it's how we sort of compress that golf ball like i said in a real key important bit and something that i do particularly poorly if you like i hit a high ball flight and that's a lot to do with when i'm driving through the ball i start to sort of flip my hands at this point the butt of my club will be pointing at my waistband and we're going to change that all together because through that impact position one thing that's going to change is that my butt of my club is going to be covering the ball and it's going to be much more in line with my lead hip so how do we do that well there's two sort of drills that Danny looks at and the first one ideally needs a alignment stick. Let's just chuck the club to one side for a minute and the alignment stick is there to give us a bit of a feel. That position that I just referred to as being sort of um, hands in front of the club head to allow for us that compression you're really looking to feel it from the right arm so we're in this position we've drilled down and at this point we're looking to feel like we've got to work that uh, alignment stick through create that pressure and then you've got to sort of work your body then to release the club head through so it's a case of you can see the hands always ahead of the ball or ahead of the club head rather through that impact position I'm in a good position right now if that was my club in hand and then I'm working all the way through to kind of create that lag to create that impression so there's another drill that we then move to which I think is um, well all important and further develops that feel take your normal position normal grip with your top left hand but with your right hand we're going to adopt a, a baseball grip so as you can see, we've got a split grip, and what does that do? Well, it gets us to the top of this position that we were in. We like where we're in right now. Then we've got a drive through, and what you start to see is that club head will then start to, if we start to rotate, I do nothing else where I'm stood right now, we're starting to square up. So we've gone from a position of being following our kind of uh, our split grip, if you like, getting us up to the top of the swing. Then we're starting to drill through. When we get through to here, my hands are in front and they feel naturally in front by using this split grip. It's a great feeling and all you can see there is when I'm stood right there now, club head is square but I've got to do one thing. If I start to flip the wrist right now, I'm going to be back in that same situation. I've got to make sure that I continue with my rotation so that club head then gets released fully through the impact position. So let me just recap that because I want to make sure I get this. It's key, it's really important, and I hope that my explanation and my interpretation of this is good enough. But if not, then I suggest you go down to the link below and check out Danny's full video because this is really, really good, really important. So split the two hands up, normal position. Create your, your, uh, your turn. Get to the top of the position in the way that we suggested through part one. Then we're starting to drill down. You've got your alignment stick routine, you remembered you're sort of dragging and holding that club head behind you as you turn, you've got that feeling and now what you need to do is rotate the hips and you need to start pushing through and then we've got to release that club and hopefully we get that all important compression. And I say all important because I'm about to give it a go. Right, now so I'm going to get my normal position because what we've effectively done don't forget I'm not going to hit this a real key important point that I forgot to mention 
I'm not going to hit this with a split grip. I'm going to go back to my position now, but I want to have that feeling of what we've created, which is, that's what I'm looking to get. So I'm up to the top, and then I'm hitting right through. Can I do that with a ball in front of me? Do you know what, if anything, I've got through it just a little bit too much. You can see we're never going to reach the green here, by the way. We're 202 yards away and I've got a seven iron in hand. That just flew over the left-hand side and we'll check my, or you can check my alignment from the camera that I've got placed behind me. All I do know, and if we look down, I'll perhaps bring a camera in, just have a look at this. You can see we've got ball then turf. So for me, I'm really happy that we got that compression. But well, the important thing of this video to me and why it's so important f moving forward for me personally, and now I'm trying to relay it to you, is it's the first time ever that I've really understood what it feels like to compress a golf ball when hitting an iron shot. And I've played the game for years and I've heard about compression and I've had lessons where people have tried to tell me what I need to do. But this drill is the first time that I've ever sort of really felt it. And I don't know where it came from. I don't know whether it came from the alignment stick of dragging along the, the ground and simply feeling how my hands were sort of... It's almost becomes a lot of sort of... When you've got to here, you realise it's a lot of body turns. So the wrists are taken out of the equation a lot. I'm a... I assume, again, a wristy player and has always looked to sort of flick through, maybe roll the wrist a little bit as well, get too handsy. So they might be all the things that you can sort of resonate with, and that's the reason that I'm highlighting them as potential problems. And if any of that rings a bell, then it might be worth trying this out. My ball striking has been as good as it's been with irons, I'll be honest with you. But the real notable difference, like I said, is ball first, then turf, and it's that compression element that I'm really keen to work on moving forward. So by no means have I got this one in the bag. Don't watch these videos thinking that, you know, that's not perfect. No, it's not. It's my interpretation of Danny's efforts via Pete Cowan, and clearly it's going to take me some time to groove in, but it's one of the lessons in the Testing the Tip series that has been really important to me, and one that would drive home as being a re real key element to your iron striking, if that's something you're looking to improve. Right, as ever, I hope I did a good enough job with my interpretation of that. Take from it what you will, go to Danny's video, check it out for probably a better description than the one I've just given you. And uh, as ever, give me your feedback if you try it. Let me know if it works. Love all the support for testing the tips right now. Thanks for watching. I'm going to hit a few more balls and I'll see you all soon.